The 2018-2019 budget outlines what the government plans to do to help implement President Uhuru Kenyatta's Big Four agenda. Treasury has allocated 460 billion shillings towards food, health, housing and manufacturing sectors. But you may have to help fund part of Uhuru's Big Four agenda through tax on mobile money and bank-to-bank -bank money transfers. Rita Tinina reports. Serving his second and final term, Uhuru Moigai Kenyatta is out to leave a legacy and has it all figured out in his vision for the country, his Big Four agenda, which seeks to enhance food security, realize universal health care and affordable housing, and spur manufacturing of GDP and transfers to county governments. But several things may stand in the way of his ambitious dream becoming a reality, among them legislation and money. Mr. Speaker, we acknowledge the limited budgetary space to implement the Big Four plan. To enhance food security and nutrition for all Kenyans by the year 2022. I have allocated 1.4 billion for strategic food reserves, 1.9 billion for Kenya's cereal enhancement program, and 0 0.5 billion for mechanization of agriculture, and 900 million for crop diversification. Towards realizing universal health care. I have allocated 2 billion to free primary health care, 800 million for health insurance subsidy program and 2.5 billion for rollout of universal health coverage. We have provided a total of 13.7 billion to support, to further support the free maternal health care program. And you may have to help fund Uhuru's health care vision. I propose to introduce a Robin Hood tax of 0.05% of any amount of 500,000 shillings or more transferred through banks and other financial institutions. In addition, in addition I have increased excise duty fee charged on uh, money transfer services by cellular phone service providers from 10% to 12%. The revenue realized from these measures shall be used to fund universal health care. In its affordable housing vision, the government is looking at construction of residential, police and civil servants houses. All out the housing program, we have provided 3 billion Kenya shillings for construction of affordable social housing units by the government and 1.5 billion for construction of housing units for police and Kenya prisons. We have also provided 1.5 billion for the civil servants housing scheme fund to support the offtake of the housing units. To spur manufacturing, the government is proposing, among other things, to increase duty on steel, iron ore, textile, footwear, vegetable oil, and the exemption of VAT on parts locally purchased or imported for the assembly of computers. To protect the timber and furniture industry from proliferation of cheap timber products and to enhance the local production. I have introduced a specific rate of duty of US dollars 110 per metric tons on particle board. And the Big Four agenda will not be easy to implement and the 2018-2019 budget will make all the difference in just how Uhuru's legacy vision is kick-started. Rita Tinina, KTN News.